Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be installing the resonator on my Catless downpipe because uh, it's, a, it's a little too loud for me and it rasps. I hate that. So we're installing this vibrant ultra quiet resonator and we have Jason here. He's gonna be welding it up for us um, and gonna try to give him as much of a hand with this job as possible without getting in his way. Uh, follow along. So right now what Jason is doing, he's marking up the ultra quiet resonator to the downpipe, seeing where he wants to cut and weld. If you could kind of put this into place right here, get rid of this flange and you just weld a V-band onto here and a V-band onto here. And so that would be your link for the rest of your exhaust. You Ooh, know what I mean? I like that a lot. You would no longer have this. It would just be V-band to V-band and V-band to V-band right here. Okay. I know it's not in the downpipe, no, no, no. I'm, I'm okay thinking with that. Is we're going to cut right on the top of this radius where it transitions down so that our V-band flange, we won't have a big old gap. All right, guys. This is the flange coming off of the Catalyst downpipe. And this is the flange coming off of the axle back. So as you notice, this is a flat face flange. Uh, it's a three-inch flange. And then this is the donut style that goes to the OEM, uh, which you'd have to use this donut gasket style and if you want, you plan on running to a stock exhaust from this uh, downpipe you're going to need this adapter i have this one from torque solutions it's a subaru turbo model uh this this is just the labeling what it says three inch downpipe to oem catback um that's what i would do but what jason is saying that we should do is just eliminate this and put the since these are adding v bands to it we're going to cut off right here, put the resonator in here, and then a portion right here, add the V-band. So it completely eliminates that. So I can actually return this. But if you don't plan on doing what I'm doing and adding this, this is definitely what you need if you're putting in the catalyst to OEM catback or vice versa. You put a aftermarket exhaust and uh, don't have that style flange. You're going to need something to adapt to a donut style gasket. You did this cut. We went ahead and cut that flange off that you showed on your last shot. Okay. We got a nice score cut on it and the V-bands, they have this little offset ring, some of them do, to where the inside diameter is a little bit bigger than three inch, so that way it can just fit right over and help hold it nice and square on the pipe. So that way, once you get it on there, you can go ahead and do a nice weld around the side of it. And then with these, I just like these better because when you go later on to fit your downpipe up and fit up the rest of the exhaust, so something's off alignment a little bit, it allows you to loosen up the clamp and rotate it to get the angle you want and then just retorque it down. We have a marmot here and the difference with the marmot is if you look on the inside, it's kind of offset like a ball and cup design, much like factory exhaust do. Those are the kind of the same concept. It uses the same kind of clamp style to go around it so you can still pivot them and rotate them to help with fitment. But it's just the difference is the ball and cup design. To me, those are a little bit better when it comes to preventing an exhaust leak. But with the V-bands, I haven't had too much issues with that either. You just got to make sure that you keep everything nice and square. So when you're welding everything up, I try to keep the clamp on it. 
the next piece to keep it nice and tight so it doesn't pull. Because any kind of little variation, if it pulls one way or another, especially since we are dealing with stainless, it'll cause an exhaust leak. All right, now that that's welded, we're letting it cool down. This one should be already cooled. But um, as you guys were seeing earlier, I, I used a defouler and I actually am going with this one because it has a mini cap built into it. Only because this is catless and I just don't want any troubles with it. So I'm gonna install this and now I'm gonna install the downpipe. <laughs> sounds like with the resonator on um, it has it has a little bit of drone but it's bearable it doesn't hurt your ears this is cruising at about 2,000 rpm it, it sounds good it sounds really good for it was just ear piercing loud um, I highly doubt anybody can fall asleep 
because of how loud it was. I'm gonna bring up the RPMs and uh, let you guys know what it sounds like. So guys, that's gonna conclude the video. I really appreciate you guys sticking around watching the video. Sorry I put this video out a bit late, but I hope you guys are having a great day and a beautiful night and peace.